you know what? I'm sick and tired of this, you know? I know where the Eagles, at least the fan base that I represent, you know, is the Eagles. And we don't get enough recognition when we have talent and stuff like that. We get more hate because our fan base is really, um, just really die hard. Which makes us seem like we're jerks when in reality we're just really loyal to our teams. And when I sit back and watch other Eagles YouTubers or just people in general that are Eagles fans that I talk to on a daily basis say we don't have a chance against Kansas City or most likely going to lose against Kansas City. And then I check the favorites um, to see that we're 5.5 underdogs against the Chiefs. It just makes me, it, it upsets me. And I'm saying this because, I'm saying this because we literally just watched a game unfold where the the, the underdogs were 8.5 underdogs. So, to, 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 <laughs> this, this team was 8 point, the, the, if you guys can't tell what I'm talking about, it was the Patriots and Chiefs game last week, okay? The Chiefs were 8.5 underdogs. The Patriots were favorites by 8.5 by the time it was 8.30 by the time the ceremony for the game for the five uh, Super Bowls had, hap uh, had finished. So you look at this game, right, and you see the Chiefs end up winning whatever the hell the score was, 42 to 27 maybe. I don't even remember, nor do I care because that game was not fun to watch whatever, like whatsoever. It makes me ups it make it makes me upset because just because of that one little thing, they don't take into consideration the fact that the Eagles are actually improving as a team. They're coming together slowly as the year progresses. Just trust me. By the time we're in week five, week six, everybody should be getting a handful of catches. The defense should be continuing to dominate at the front uh, at the just down in the trenches. And all in all, the Eagles could actually make a run for the playoffs. But no one wants to talk about that. They want to talk about the number one upset. The Patriots. The seemingly unbeatable, impossible to beat at Foxborough, New England Patriots losing to the Chiefs. And that skyrockets the Chiefs up. Then Alex Smith throwing four touchdowns skyrockets the team up. Kareem Hunt has... What, over 245 all-purpose yards? Skyrockets the team up compared to any other team that's making improvements as the year goes on. Trust me, I don't think the Chiefs are going to make the Super Bowl, guys. All right? That's my prediction now. The Chiefs are not making the Super Bowl. The Patriots might, but I don't see them making the Super Bowl either. That's just how I feel at this point in time. But the fact that people aren't, especially Eagles fans, the fact that Eagles fans are not... Going into this weekend tomorrow with hope makes me sick, all right? I have the Eagles winning. It's a back-and-forth game, of course, but I think the Eagles are going to win this game. If they don't win this game, I'm, a, I'm wrong. But at least be optimistic and at least be faithful and be loyal to your goddamn team. It makes me it just makes me so upset seeing people say we're gonna lose. This is a lose lose. No way we're winning this game because the Chiefs are just better than us. Andy Reid has our number. Like shut up, dude. Dude, just shut up. That's not I don't know. I'm not